Let's talk today about being humble. Franklin Graham has said preoccupation with self is the enemy of humility. I agree. I think it causes us to become depressed. I think it causes us to uh, become in a state where unless we are interested in others as much as ourselves, we lose complete focus. Now in 1 Peter 5 verse 5, it says, God is against the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. God's word indicates clearly that we should be humble. And I'm going to explain more on what that means in a minute. These passages are good reminders because as human beings... We have a fair amount to be humble about. Let's be honest. We do. But the point about being humble isn't to feel bad about ourselves. It's simply to view ourselves realistically in the light of God's perfection. None of us is perfect, but we have to realize that we can become better and we can bring some of that perfection of God in and through us. When we're honest with ourselves and with God, we'll find that we simply can't be boastful. It's a me, me, me type of uh, consciousness of how great I am. That's nonsense. We will become, in spirituality, exceedingly humble. And when we remember that God promises to bless the humble, we'll also be eternally grateful. Now, I told you that I'd talk more about being humble. Humble, in the original root word, also means being teachable. Think about that. Never get to the point where you think you know it all. And this is especially true for ministers. (laughs) There is always more that I can learn about God and about spirituality. And there's always more about every facet of life. And therefore, the right way to approach a long life is through humility. The good things in lives, yours, mine, everyone's, come from God. God deserves the glory, and in truth, it's a glorious experience when we give all the glory to God. So today, stay humble. Stay teachable. It's the intellectually honest way to live, and it opens the way for God to fill your life with newness, new teachings, and with grace.